You know, one thing about writing the book um, that was interesting is that I got to seriously consider as an adult and a parent myself what my parents could have possibly been thinking. And I got to empathize with them in a way that, that surprised me. And I realized I'm a bigger loser than either of them ever were. I think that my mother has probably brought holy water into my home and sprinkled it on my children and said some prayers over them. And I remember telling my husband, like, what if she tries to do that? And he was like, because he's even more of an atheist than I am, he was like, so what if she does? <laughs> like, what do we care? And I was like, oh, I guess, I guess you're right. Can you just buy the holy water? Can I buy that? Is that... Uh... What if she stole it? Yeah. That, be... <laughs> that seems weird, isn't it? That'd be great. I don't think there's anything in this book I'm particularly ashamed of. I do want to instruct my daughter in what her you know, reproductive organs are so she knows them. <laughs> so she's not like me and she's 10 years old and thinking everything comes out of one hole, <laughs> which is basically what I thought until, I got, until I got a mirror and I was like, huh? <laughs> Bonus holes? <laughs> awesome. <laughs>